Evening everyone, evening, evening, how are we? Base Golly here, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another live stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Should we do some F1 2021 for you today, boys and girls? 
another episode. I'm going a bit crazy on these. I hope you, might, I hope you guys don't mind me doing these as often as I am, but I'm absolutely loving it right now. Um, so we're going to just kick off straight away and do some more F1 2021. So hope you join it. Uh, welcome, Wang Gang. Um, I've had a little... Um, I don't know what these things are called. I forgot. I can't remember what these things are called. Basically, the idea is that my voice doesn't... So it's not a shot. So it doesn't get too high. So it should sound better, I hope. That's the plan, anyways. It's a little bit ugly, but if it works, it works, then I guess. Got my bowl of ice with me. Because it does get a million degrees. So I've got my bowl of ice. So at least we've got that. And uh, all should be... All should be good. All is well. So, unless... Unless the button's on my... There we go. So. Cool. Right. So let's do some career mode then, shall we? Mic diffuser? I don't think it is a mic diffuser. I don't... It's called something, but I don't know what it is called. So, changes. Changes, 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 changes. Um, I have changed the livery of the car and added the Highland sponsor. So what do you think of the new livery? Um, I, I really like it, but it's up to you, really. 1440's beastly and first time phones loud unit. Awesome, Clifford. Yeah, makes a big difference, um, 1440p. The codec, which is basically the thing that kind of um, renders the 1080p on YouTube, is a bit rubbish. So when you can do it in 1440p, it looks a lot better. Pop shield. Okay, that sounds about right. Um... Yeah, as long as it works, yeah. So that's what I've changed. Um, if you don't like it, let me know and we'll um, we'll change it and we'll go from there. But, uh, oh yes, as well, I've changed the... I've tried to change the suits. But they're a bit more... I can't get the colour because it's just a default one. But it's kind of... You get the idea. It's yellow and black, which is pretty close. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty close. The Oli DNA, do you mean the like, black and yellow on the livery? We can we can change it as things go on, but that's what I've what I've gone for. It's because you can't get the yellow. Even Josh, even Hayden. Um, so yeah, you can't. For me, you can't quite get the yellow. So it's just something like that. But I think this is, I think it's quite nice. I don't know. I think this is quite nice. But uh, yeah, some some may disagree. Some may disagree. Some may agree. But uh, yeah, I think it, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, engine wise as well, are we all under the? Well, I'm. Well, my my thought process for this, if I can actually speak, is we're using we're going to use these engines. We're going to use the old stuff for the practice sessions, yeah. So we don't end up wearing out, you know, our components, yeah. That's the, that's the plan. Uh, we've got Austria uh, this weekend. Uh, which is pretty damn cool because I very, very much, um, I very, very much like uh, Austria. It's an awesome track, uh, and we're going to plan to do two 50% races because I remember you guys saying last time the 100% one was a little bit too long to kind of, I don't know, stay. Um, like it, it didn't keep you engaged enough. Do you know what I mean? So, I'm going to try... Ooh. Be on the car ready for the next race week. That's good. So, we got some new parts, chat. So, I'm going to try and do two 50% races instead. Um, and see what that's like. Yeah, we've got to try it. Get the, get the right balance. Um, the car's still improving, but not... The other teams are improving just as well. Which is a real surprise for me. Normally, when you do these career modes... Like, you can normally just blast off, you know what I mean? You blast off into the sunset, uh, and you can... Get your car good very quickly. But it's kind of cool that it's taking its time on this one. It just means it's going to last, you know, longer. So, eighth in the construction, so we speak. And I think, yeah, so we're 15th. So, we're fighting with Alonso here for 14th. So, yeah. Yeah, use your old stuff to avoid, yeah. Avoid suffering from penalties. Yeah, we will, we will. I haven't had anything blown yet. Well, you guys would know if I did. Uh, a current gearbox. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's do it. I'm glad that popped up. I would have known that. I would not have known that. How's the sound, by the way? I hope it's all good. Henry says I've got F1 2021 today, but I can't play as it's too hot in your room. Yeah, that's why I've got. That's why I've got a bowl of ice, mate. It's absolutely boiling. Um, 
It's really, really difficult. But we're going to go for it regardless. So session length uh, long. So 50% of the race, yeah? That's how we like it. That's what we're going to go for in this one. Absolutely wiping the floor with Giovinazzi, by the way. But we're looking good. Uh, yeah, we're looking tasty. So still aerodynamics and chassis that we need to work on. Uh, yeah, we can get some more points this weekend, can't we? Um, do the practice things. We're looking good for the practice things, I think. Weight reduction is a lot of, a lot of stuff to do with durability. Uh, out of interest, mate, what do you set your rotation on your wheel for iRacing? Mine's at 1080, I think, uh, Josh. Mine's all the way. I like the idea of having 250% race, 100% race might do well as a video, though. That is true, Batty. That might actually be a good idea. I said, Mike, pop shield slash diffuser. Okay, we'll take it. Take it. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> I, I've got to be honest. I swear it had a weird name for it. I swear there was a name for it. About the new parts that have come in from the factory. If that's oh, right, that's right. Good to go. I hope they do the trick. Don't know why, Jeff. I don't know what's been fitted. But... Hello, Wolfie. And Anki as well. Did you see the CSL DD Pro for PlayStation leak picture? Not sure if it was real, but it looked nice. Uh, I can't. I can't comment on it. Um, I feel like I would get in a lot of shit if I commented on it. Um, but what I will say. Hello, hello, uh, mature as well. What I will say about the the PlayStation CSL DD for Gran Turismo Seven uh, is that the person who leaked it um, is going to get absolutely rinsed. So take from take from that what you will. All right, so they're they're going to get absolutely rinsed. So I think that needs. I think that tells you everything you need to know. Uh, let's do a bit of race strategy first, shall we? Yeah, let's drive out. Cam yeah, change. Yeah, the other camera was freezing up a little bit too much. Make it easy for a couple of laps. The one that looked like the TGT. Uh, yeah. Watching six hours of Monza and Ollie live at the same time. <laughs> That's a good day. That's awesome, Jamie. So there's a six hours of Monza going on right now, is there? What series is that? Is that the WES World Endurance Championship? Is that the WEC? First time driving around this track. I, re I love the Red Bull Ring. It's such a good track. Absolutely gorgeous as well. I mentioned it a few times, but um, me and Chloe were... Me, Chloe and her family, we all had tickets for this. But we couldn't go because of COVID. And then that was moved on to this year as well. But still couldn't go because of COVID. So, yeah. not good. First time going through that corner. First time going through that corner with any speed, I should say. Obviously, the breaking points could be a little bit different to what we're used to on Gran Turismo. I'm hoping to do well here. Hello, Dave. How are we doing? Oh, so that, that series is doing six hours of Monza. They're doing 24 hours of Spa. So I'm guessing that's what iRacing get it from, because they normally base their special events on stuff that actually happens. Oh, you thought the mark on the screen? Ha! You thought there was a mark on the screen, but it's the aerial in the front of the car. 
I wonder how many people have been caught out by that. Okay, super job so far. We're getting great data. Stay focused. How can you not like this track? Honestly, it's so fast, it's so flowing. Getting used to those breaking points compared to what we're used to. Who do I think was at fault with Silverstone? Well, I've watched, so the thing is, <laughs> It's difficult to explain. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's a racing incident, right? And I want I want to explain why. Okay. So if you if you just take take out of take out the situation, who it is, and who was involved, right? What position it was for. I've watched so many like proper like professional drivers talk about it, give their opinion, right? and they're probably the best people to ask. And and they've done a breakdown of it. And I I generally do believe it is a racing incident. I genuinely do believe Max is the most aggressive driver right on the field what we asked for. Keep it on up. the track, but Lewis this time, you know, he's fighting for the World Championship. He decided, no, I'm not going to back out of it this time. And, um, yeah, and that's what caused the collision, really. I mean, you can look at... The thing is, if you can look it up all over the internet, right? It's all over the internet, and there's proof that it was a racing incident, and, you know, should be nothing more of it, but... I think more because of what happened to Max and what it's for and for the World Drivers title and all that, all that stuff. I think sometimes people can just be... Again, this is just all my opinion, by the way. I think people sometimes they can just be blinded. You know, you can be a little bit biased because it might be against your favourite driver. Now, Lewis and Max, they're not my favourite drivers. Um, Lando... And Russell and Charles are my favourite. Well, I can understand, you know, sometimes if it's your driver involved, it's difficult. Okay, super job so far. But, We're getting great data. Stay um, focused. Yeah, personally, I think it's a racing incident. Uh, if if you, I don't know, if you're driving it, if you're in that race yourself, like if you are that driver, but like if you're in a sim, um, say if you're on F1 i racing, whatever. And that happened to you, you <laughs> the guy on the inside would be fuming. And I think the person who was Max would be like, sorry, mate, I turned into you when you're in the middle of a corner. It's difficult. It's just my, it's just my, it's just my opinion, you know. And I think what, what adds fire to the, you know, fuel to the fire is that everybody, everybody kind of hates Lewis in the fact that he's dominated for so long. So some people are absolutely desperate to watch him fail. They're desperate. And if you go on Twitter and you go on Instagram and you check the photo, if you check the comments, sorry, you'll see it. It's it's absolutely dire. You know, it's it's just so much hate for, for him. I mean, we thing is with the internet as well, we always go on about, right? We always go on about people's mental health, right? And we can't say this, we can't say that. We go on, you know, you can't say too much. Think about how that person will feel. But no one seems to really care when it comes to Lewis. No, like, the comments don't care. I've got some comments, top comments, are saying he tried to kill Max, or he could have killed him. And it's like, come on, like, like, you know, he's still a human being at the end of the day. He asked straight away how Max was, I don't know. You could talk about this for months upon months, I think, for months upon months. It's a racing incident, no malicious intent in it from either driver. But, we need to be sure you yeah. can manage the tyres through a lap. So try to keep the wear down through each corner. Be it's just especially careful accelerating on corner exit. It's just annoying that we always, you know, we talk about this mental health business and how it affects everyone. But as soon as it comes against, you know, a racing incident that's harmed your driver, that all goes out the window and you'll say whatever you want about the other driver. You know what I mean? I mean, you could, yeah, exactly. You can all have your opinions on on Lewis and you know, hate him or love him, whatever. But still, a human being at the end of the day. Right, am I meant to be saving tyres on this one? I think I am, aren't I? Yeah, he never intentionally took anyone out. He, that's he never, you know, you don't come a seven times world champion like that. That's not how he does it. Also, did I didn't. 
I don't know. I didn't really like Max's tweet either as well. It's probably... It, it is adding, you know, fuel to the fire again. And it's probably... A lot of people like to see it. You know? But... As um, like I said, if anyone, if anyone wants more kind of proof on it, whatever, or just wants to go into it a little bit further, um, Karun Chandok, who uh, is a pres presenter on Sky F1, right? He did an absolutely superb piece on it and explained it brilliantly, absolutely brilliantly. And you know, as much as we love F1 and we have all our opinions and stuff, and you know, we're more than welcome to it. This guy is a professional racing driver, and he's literally raced F1 cars. If you can't trust his opinion on it, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But it's, it's, it is a tough one. Yeah, both of them. Yeah, you could see it. I mean, you could both. You could see it, absolutely. Yeah, Kai. Karun did smash the analyst. You're absolutely right. Zach as well. No one say Lewis is the greatest of all greatest drivers until he's gone. Exactly. It's one of those things, right? I saw a tweet where someone said... They actually missed Lewis being at the top. They actually missed Lewis being at the top. And you never thought you'd say that. What's the name of that guy again? Want to check the vid? Uh, Karun Chandok is his name. Uh, is, the, is the chap you want to um, have a look at? See, I tr well, if David... Co yeah, so see, David Coulthard, Jensen Button and Damon Hill say it's Lewis's fault. This is the... <laughs> that's the thing and then yeah I, you can't argue with that if they say it is as well but then you've got you've got other people that say it as well that say it's not it's a racing incident it's all opinion i guess at the end of the day but you know i don't i just don't there's it's not malicious at all he didn't you know that was never his intention to take one out if you know a lewis it never would be It's just hard to get right, isn't it? But I thought, I've watched Karun's piece on it and I thought it was brilliant. Jody and Palmer as well <laughs> actually did a very good piece on it as well. They both could have done more to avoid the crash exactly, David. Spot on. But that's the thing, and they're both fighting for the world title. And I always think in those situations, Lewis is always going to be the one that backs out. But like I said earlier, I think, you know, this is the biggest fight he's ever had for a world championship title. You know, and he wants to prove to everyone, you know, even in the even in the worst car, he can still do it. And he's still the best on the grid. Uh, and that is why I'm not the best on the grid, because I just absolutely miss that corner. Your pace is Terrible. too slow. Make sure you use your overtake button for maximum power. Yes, yeah. yeah. Exactly, Zach. Yeah, you got to remember how many uh, how many dirty moves did Schumacher make? Exactly. And didn't uh, technically didn't Senna take someone out to win a World Drivers title as well? You could argue that as well. You know, it's one of those incidents that will be debated for a very very long time. It will be, you know, it'll be really interesting, right? is if Lewis wins the title and he only wins it <laughs> by like a point or whatever and everyone everyone will point to that race and say that was the chain that was the moment you know we've seen Norris P1 this year I'd love that It'd be absolutely mega to see Norris there do you know I anyone um, during the, the Silverstone Grand Prix by the way did anyone feel like Norris had a chance of winning that program complete and a job well I had I I thought for when I was watching it. That run, so come on back to the garage and I can I genuinely thought he had a really good chance because he was ahead of Valtteri Bottas, right? Lewis had a 10 second penalty and Charles Leclerc was in a Ferrari and I just thought that McLaren is quicker race pace surely. And I really did think he might have a chance to win it. I just when you watch it from my point of view anyways. Um when I was watching it, I was like, Charles, Charles is in a lead, but it's not the best car. I don't think it was the best on race pace compared to McLaren. And um, he was ahead of Bottas, who couldn't overtake him. And Lewis had a 10-second penalty. I thought, oh, here we go. This, this could be something special. 
But unfortunately not. It is what it is. But yeah, just interested to know if any of you guys thought that, to be honest. Makes a good point as well, Carl. Carl says, imagine if there was social media in the center of Schumacher days. I know, I know. Well, Wolfie, he wasn't... He wasn't five seconds behind Bottas. You've got to remember, before the pit stop, uh, Norris was ahead, wasn't he? Norris was ahead. Um, he was ahead until the pit stop, and then the mechanics did like a six-second pit stop, and Bottas undercut him, and that was it. You know? So... I always felt like there was a chance. Let's put these parts on, shall we? Put the race parts back on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait. Touch. Ooh, should I have done that? Yeah. Uh, 51. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, do you just want to know what in to what's in Toto Wolf's email? Oh, wouldn't we? Oh, I'd love to know. Didn't they say um, it was something to do with... Uh, was it something to do with racing lines? Was it? I feel like it was something to do with racing lines. Hello, May Barino. I'm also, David says I'm rooting for Russell to get in a better car. I think we all are. Does any, I was kind of, I was so wanting them to say, um, something like, oh, uh, you know, Russell's going to sign for Mercedes and, you know, the contract sign. I wanted it be that weekend, you know, but afraid not. Yeah, Leclerc is one of the cleanest drivers it's out there. It's time to yeah. remind ourselves of He's, our top He was three, superb. Who are Ireland, Hamilton, and Valtteri Bottas. Sadly, it's time to say goodbye as free practice is over. However, we'll be back shortly for more Formula One action. What? Anyone? Anyone want to explain that? Is anyone seeing what I'm seeing? Is anyone seeing what I'm seeing here? I did skip it. First Callum Eilert holds us, holds signs up so we can get double the points. No, I know I, I know, I know I skipped it. I know I skipped it. But I'm seeing Kynot and P1 by 1.4 seconds. <laughs> uh, that's what I'm like. What? <laughs> can I, look at the time, by the way. A 1 minute 1.8. A 1 minute 1. 61.8 seconds to do a lap. What? How's he done that? <laughs> that's what I was That's what I was like. Whoop. Oh, the ice chat. The ice is coming in already. Oh, the ice. Oh. <laughs> It's needed. I need to cool down the wang, chat. It's um, it's hot in here. Must have found a shortcut. Yeah, hell of a shortcut. How did he do that then, little sausage? How's he done that? Impressive, no? Ah, so weight reduction. Okay, this is all looking good. All the parts have fitted the car. We've done all the practice programs. Let's go to qualifying then, shall we? Oh, race is long. Cool. All right, let's go to qualifying. Yeah. You love me some big wang. <laughs> I was thinking, um, so I've been playing around with uh, Nightbot. You know, we can like send commands and stuff. So if you put exclamation mark team in the chat, that gives you the names of all the people that are running for the team in the 24 hour race. We've got that preset up, right? I wanted to think of something that I could do with wang. I, I thought if you put the exclamation mark wang, what could it do? Like, do you know what I mean? What would it do if we put exclamation mark wang? I was trying to think what it could be. But I can't think of anything. I could maybe put... Maybe I could put, like, huge wang and then your name, like, pops up. Don't trust any links on the iPod anymore. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was um, that was pretty savage from me, I've got to be honest. That was pretty sta that was pretty savage. Oh, oh shows Wang bent unbent status. <laughs> Superb. I can put that because I can update that. I can update it. Wang status equals bent. <laughs> I could be like so for the 24 hour races, I could be like um 
exclamation mark Wang, and it will tell people if I'm Wang still straight or not. Oh, you're back from the streams. That's good, my guy. Um, I don't want to push your name. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, but thank you. Thank you for thank you for coming back to the streams. Wang size equals large. <laughs> busy couple of weeks. Well, hopefully, um, hopefully next couple of weeks they're a, they're a lot better for you, mate. You're not as busy, and you can uh, sit back and relax. So we're going to go out and do some laps. Don't know what kind of times we're looking for here. But we'll go out, we'll drive out now, we'll do, we'll do a, I think we could do two laps on soft tyres, don't you think? All clear the garage, please. Car ready to leave. Maybe we could do Wang settings to use. Could be, yeah, yeah. Mind you, we get all ours from VRS, so we never set it up ourselves. Just call me Hunt. Okay. Thank you, Hunt. <laughs> oh. Quite dramatic. Da -da 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 -da. Nothing to see here. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Just a small glitch. Little tiny little talent glitch there. The tiniest of talent glitches. Nothing to see, boys and girls. Nothing to see. Hello, Naomi. You didn't see that, did you? Perfect, see? Never in doubt. So no F1 this weekend then, chat. We don't have the uh, pleasure of F1. But we do have a Spa 24-hour race for you boys and girls, if you're interested. You want to watch me and the boys take on 24 hours of Spa? Then that starts at um, 1 p.m. GMT, uh, 1 p.m. BST, or 12 p.m. GMT. I think it'd be like, uh, yeah, that sounds. I think that's right. Yeah. The official session is 12 p.m. GMT, but would be SD, so it'll be 1 p.m. for us. But don't know how it'll work out for you guys. Anyways, Let's set a lap, shall we? That was scary. Oh, slip. Give me the suck for stopping. Yes, Max. There we go. You'll love to see it. Is he? Oof. I thought he was going to take me out then. Not enough over the curb. Purple in sector one. Sector two, I should say, but I think I'm the only one running the time right now, so. Not very good line through there. All there. Glad I'm going again. I lot with a 10. Look at I lot out qualifying me. Okay, that's better. Oh, Max is going to screw me over. Sod off, Max. Way too late. There's only one lap of fuel remaining. So, uh, changes for anyone that's joining. Uh, we've changed the car livery. We've also changed our suits and our helmets. And we've changed uh, the races or the streams. So you get two 50% races. We do two races per stream. Oh, that was pants, wasn't it? Don't do it, Max. Oh, that put me right off. That put me, that so put me off. Definitely have to go again. A new livery's on the thumbnail, but we'll see if we can have a look at it. Hello, Martin. That was a really pants lap from me. That has to be better. Has to be better there. I will do better than that because that was absolutely awful. 
Not good enough, boys and girls. Not good enough. Fresh tyres on there. Fast forward. No bent floor. No, um, there shouldn't be any floor damage. Uh, we're in GT3 cars for the Spa 24 hour. GT3 cars only. So GT3 cars only for this one. For the Spa 24 hour of the weekend. Uh, we are going to go in the BMW. Uh, freeze a bottle of water and stick it behind your fan. I, I thought I, ju I have tried that, but I haven't really got anything to, to put in front of the fan. Or I've got the chair, but then it doesn't quite work because it's got it blocks it a little bit. It's a little bit annoying. Anyways, don't have time for two laps here. Exactly, Jamie. I don't have any livery skills. I know, like Arava and uh, Tiamat Marduk. Um, they always, like, get their own liveries done. Um, you know, and they play around with the system files and stuff and put, get it added in there, but I don't really fancy doing that myself. Plus, I don't have anything to... Uh, nothing to replace it with, really. Better. Much better. There we go. Hello, Ray. There we go. I wanted to get more on that curb. I got a little bit too much. Could have done better on the apex of that corner. Wide on that exit there. A little bit naughty. Still not enough though. We'll have to go again. Right, we're up. I don't know what we need. Ah, or exit. Couldn't improve. Ah. Bugger. It looks like it's going to be a P17 for us, chat. Golden black would be nice. Golden black would be nice. Max in P14. Ra, what's going on here? Where, where's Eilot's pace gone, eh? I missed out by one. Where's bloody Eilot's pace gone? He did 101s in practice, you son of a gun. And on mediums. Uh, Hansela, hi Ollie, when's the next GT Sports route? I'm planning to do one on Friday, Hansela. I'm planning to do one on Friday. Should have one then. Uh, just not a massive fan of this week's races, that's all. There's no FIA either. So... Unfortunately, the old GT spawn content is slow, but we will try and get it out when we can. So yeah. Right. Gotta do better gotta do better in this one. I think. Go straight to the race, shall we? Will there be lobbies involved? More than likely hurtle turtle, to be honest. 
John, my steering wheel broke while I was playing. Ouch, man. Good afternoon and welcome that to Spielberg sucks. and to a circuit that in one form or another has held every Austrian Grand Prix in the championship, except the... <laughs> I not run out of cocaine. <laughs> run out of fat it lines to sniff. John Watson <laughs> lost a bet and his beard when he took oh. Team Penske's only F1 oh, victory in 1976. You have no idea how hot it is in this room, chat. It's today, so hot. With 25 points of so bloody hot. Do 22 watches, 65 likes. Would like, like, yes, please. Today, please do consider, in, uh, if you are enjoying the stream the and the effort, please do consider hitting the like button. Two, See if we can reach 100 likes. Um, I think we have like three dislikes before the stream starts, which kind of sucks. I know, I know you should really take notice of them. And, and you're right, you shouldn't. But it's just, it's frustrating because I'm putting a lot of effort into it. I know it's not GT Sport, but it's still coming. You know? I'd rather people didn't dislike the stream because I'm not doing GT Sport. Because it's not disappeared, but it is what it is. You can't, you can't stop it's people, can you? Take a look at our starting grid you know, dislikes are kind of feedback, I guess, and people want GT Sport. Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position, and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Considering the rest <laughs> of the <laughs> cheers, grid, Hamilton, that's very kind, mate. Perez, Ricardo, Charles Leclerc, and Norris. Ricardo in P4, he's done Verstappen, well. Sainz, Max is absolutely Gazzle, dead in this career mode. You know? He's just not anywhere near it. Sonoda. I suppose if you look at it like that, Batty, yeah. Yeah, that's true, true. <laughs> Wang! Hass. Out qualified by Hass. Russell and Nicholas Latif. Reiki. Now, it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. Okay, so... Interestingly, it looks like a two-stopper on this one. Wang! Exactly. I, I might have to have that as like a... Shall I have that as like um, a donation sound? When it just goes, Wang! I think I might have to. <laughs> Thanks, Boob Daddy. Uh, what game's better, GT or F1? Um, I, I don't know. Uh, in terms of online, GT Sport would be better. But in terms of career mode and just stuff to do... This is a lot better. This is a lot better because it's just so much. It's so much depth and every AI are brilliant. So yeah, it, it's there's more to do, shall we say? Um, interestingly enough, there's only a tenth difference. But I mean, surely top one seems better, right? It's true, Drew. Thanks, man. So Alex says, in my career mode, Hamilton's won ten, has only scored 10 points in like seven races, while Bottas won every race. Damn. Um, Bretzky says, finish on the softs. So if you, what do you want, should we start on the mediums and then go softs? Soft, soft. You reckon, do you reckon we could go hard and then soft? Or hard and then... Do you reckon we could do that? Do you, re do you, reckon, do you reckon we could one-stop one the, the crap out of this chat? Have a look at the strat. Um... Have a look at this. If we, if you change this to hard, and then um, go to six, and then remove stint, that's only one stop. Is it what? What do we think? What do we think? We've got a choice of two stopper. We've got a choice of two stopper. Thing is, we do two stop and go soft, soft, medium. If we do the one stop, uh, mandatory tire. It says, Ooh. oh, oh, I see what you mean now. I think I don't think we're allowed, or are we? It says, can you see, it says, so I can't show you mouse, but it says mandatory tyre, it swaps between medium and hard. So you just got to swap tyres, haven't you? You've got to use two different uh, tyre compounds, usually the harder two of the three compounds. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know if, I don't, the thing is, I don't want to do a one stop and then we get disqualified, but I don't think we will. I don't have to lose. 
Two stop, make it fun. Do you know what? Yeah, sod it. Two stop. Let's make it fun. Start on the mediums as well. Let's let's have some fun, shall we? Let's not sweat it out. Let's have some fun. Let's just go for it, I say. Eight stops all hard. <laughs> right, here we go then, chat. First race of the evening. Here we go. Okay, made up a position. Oh. I think that was fine. I didn't do anything wrong there, I don't think. Hey, Will. Whoa, stay off that curve. Okay, people around us, I think everyone's basically on softs. Apart from walking behind us. I love this track, but I'm, I'm definitely lacking on pace right now. A little bit too much ERS, I think. DRS is being enabled this lap. We can use DRS when you are within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. A good line going into there, I think. Yes, yeah, great game, John. Very much enjoying it so far. Hello Diego, how are we doing? Thanks for joining. We could break away from the others and Ocon stay with us, so this looks good. careful on the uh, exit there. A bit smooth through turn one. Our gap to the car in front is 2.1 seconds. Hello, Bob. How are we doing? Thanks for joining the stream. How are we? Hope you're well, my friend. Thanks for joining. But not like the optional mirror to see the cars behind. Um, I don't know. I've not really thought about it, to be honest. I suppose because F1 cars don't really have them. I've never thought of having it on. If there's an option to turn it on, which I assume there is, that's why you've mentioned it, I don't think I would turn it on. You wouldn't have one in an F1 car, so... I know in an F1 car you wouldn't have this view either, technically, but... You know what I mean? I don't... I'm 
I'm scared of spinning on that corner like you do in GT Sport. I think Ockham's going to have me. I'm losing the chaps up ahead. Good to hear, Bob. Oh, Ollie, come on. Less of that, please. Not good enough, lad. Oh, Ilot's getting Well, at least it's Ilot. And yeah, like you said, he is on softs. No good shot, Alex. Gap ahead is 3.9 seconds. Hey, Addy. I can't quite read that full message yet. That's all right. Um, so car-wise, um, I think we're better than the Williams and the Haas right now. Um, Alfa Romeo have just overtaken us annoyingly, but we've been developing the car as, as quick as we can. We've not made, been able to make any major gains, which is pretty good though, because you don't want, really want it to, you know, you don't want to run away a bit ASAP, do you? Is it Imola in this game, Ollie? I, I don't think it is, John. But I think they are looking to add it as DLC, if anyone want to correct, wants to correct me on that. There is some DLC. It's, I think it might be Imola, Turkey, and something else, maybe. Hello, Jay. How are we doing, buddy? Here's Jay. Yeah, I like the liver as well. So when do we have to pit then? You have two stops remaining. Two stops remaining in the strategy. Your pit window will open in seven laps time. A bit smoother for that. Now, so the tracks that are coming out of DLC. Interesting question is, and I'll ask you in chat. Do you think you should have to pay for that? Because you pay for the game. You know, and those those tracks are part of the F1 2021 season. So, are we going to have to pay for those or not? Really hope so. Really hope not. You're broke. That sucks, dude. Getting closer. We're leading our teammate by 1.7 seconds. Just gone for it. Ah, damn. Don't want our uh, stream to ruin by that. No, excuse the flashbacks, but I don't want the stream to be ruined because of it. Oof. I was scared to keep his nose in there. That was scary. All new tracks covered in an update, says David. Okay, that's good. I 
I'm losing a lot of time to the guys up ahead. But I will say this as well. Our car's not that good. You know, it's still one of the worst on the grid. So I suppose we are still outperforming it. Well, if, it come, if the DLC is free, which sounds like it is, that's really good to hear. It would suck if they charge people for it. Gap to car in front is 6.9 seconds. Hello Renato, how are we doing? There is a gap of about seven seconds between you and the car ahead. Seven seconds. Right. Be difficult to make up that time. One stop still playing on my mind a little bit. Hey Joseph. I'm going to keep an eye on the times and how much time we lose. It, be, it could be a really good viable strategy here. Uh, what's the AI difficulty? Uh, 95. Tom's pissed. I would be if I was him, to be fair. Mind you, in real life, Ocon was a bit pants here, wasn't he, chat? I can really feel the uh, understeer going through that back corner now. I think the soft runners are uh, struggling as well, to be fair. Steady on there. Stop. Runners are in. Is coming in for his stop. We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the soft. Close to real life performance after signing the contracts. Yeah. The gap to the car ahead is 8.6. I wonder seconds. how much Alpine are uh, regretting that at the moment. Because it's not looking good for him, is it? We'll see. I think he's got the talent to turn it around. So, soft runners managed to do 11 laps before they decided to pit and give up. By the looks of it. So if we want to, if we want to change this strat and make it work. Okay, we stretched the flight 14 laps on those. So we'd have to do another nine laps on these. The car behind is dropping back mm. by about three tenths a lap. Not sure if we could. Have a look. Oh yeah, the front left's 40% already. Concerns at the moment, just focus on the driving. That's an interesting thought, that WBA. If you only swap drivers, it's a good shout, haven't it? I mean, swap drivers, swap car. That's a good shout, I haven't heard anyone mention it before. Oh. 
goodness me, Ollie. That car is just so much better. Box, box. We're coming in this lap. About swapping the next tire to hard. Hmm. The good shout. Let's see how. Let's see how long we can stick with Charles here. If we have like DRS. Ooh, our ERS is not looking good. I think we'll just lose a second in the middle sector. It's way too quick. Yeah, it's gone already, isn't it? Annoyingly, I don't know how to change the next tyre, I don't think. I know I should have been in then, but I just want to stretch out another couple laps so we can give ourselves another, Our gap you know, the extra choice to use it. Ah, there we go. Cards are far too slow. I think we're going to have to two-stop this because I don't, I don't see the soft tyres working. I mean the uh, hard tyre working, and I don't see these mediums holding on for long enough. So I think, I think we're going to have to go soft. I don't uh, see. I would stick to the mediums, but my times are so bad. I'm on 48% on the front left already. I'm to take the line for the pit stop either. There. Yeah. Go now. 2.4, that seems good. Only one stop to go. One stop left in this strategy. That was close. <laughs> oh, I don't. Oh, you bonker. Messed it up for us, lad. Love that sunny boy. Cool. Too much on the curb there. To be fair, Eilert, yeah, you're right, John. Eilert did do a mega job. Not to sound science massively. It was absolute goat move that was by science. I mean by Eilert, sorry. The last stream. Way too early. And let's go quicker than that, four tenths quicker. Let's be more 
more like a second really. Oh, comes three seconds ahead. He's got medium, medium soft. Nice. That brings you up a place. Take that. Better. Seeing a gap form. Not the other cobble you dickhead. Can't be touching it. Catch knock on. Okay, gap ahead is 2.6 seconds. Here, Ashley. Pulled away from me there. Onkin will have an insane pace when he gets on the soft. Yeah, he will. Which is why it's important to try and get him on this stint instead of the next one. I'm not sure we will be able to. I'll just have to P17. I think he's getting better and better, I lot. Even Julian. Oof. Feeling the understeer already. It's crazy how quick these things die off. He has 3,000 people watching play GT6. Wait, listen. I'm a strong, strong believer with Jimmy. He's got such a great personality. And he's such a nice guy, right? And he's got such great humour. But honestly, you could just, I could watch him play anything, Jimmy. I could watch him play anything. He's one of those. You know what I mean? He's a nat naturally born. He's like a naturally born streamer. Like he's just, it, he was born to do it. He's absolutely brilliant at it. I'm, um, I, <laughs> when I work, because uh, I work from home at the moment, I normally have his, like, his old 24-hour streams on in the background, and I can literally just have them on the background all day, you know, and they're, they're just great to, great to listen to. I don't even have to watch it, you know? Well, that's nice for that. I'm not catching.
doing well. What I do for a living, um, I kind of, well, I fix computers over the phone the best I can. So if anyone's got any issues with their computer, uh, I try and fix it over the phone. We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the softs. I've struggled this stint, chat. I've got to be honest. I feel like after like four or five laps, I'd already got the best out of the softs, and it's just not, I can't get more pace out of it. I'm gonna try first person, not in this one, buddy. I will do it at some point, but not in this one, matey. I'm trying to ch uh, chase down Ocon at the moment. I don't want to put myself off. Hello, Gary. 24 hour this weekend. Yes, matey. Yes, absolutely. Twenty-four hours of spa. We are the gap to the doing the twelve p.m. GMT slot. Seconds. Yeah, we've got to go all the way over that yellow curb. Get the floor on that yellow curb, or I've got to miss it. I can't half-ass it like I have been. How many times do you say turn it off and on again? Um, do you know what? <laughs> Some days you really do have days like that where you just say you try to turn it off and on again. You know, uh, we have a um, we have a thing at work with like records for how long people have left their machines on. Um, I think the records are 141 days at the moment that someone's not restarted or turned their laptop off. So sometimes when they say, oh, it's not working, or whatever, or this isn't doing this, or, or whatnot, first thing we do is go in Task Manager, uh, click on the CPU, Push and it now. shows the uh, shows the runtime. So basically how long the computer's been on without being restarted or turned off or anything like that. And, uh, yeah. Callum is in the pits. Pretty, uh, in the pits. pretty impressive. You know. I haven't had, haven't had, like, 180 days yet. That'd be pretty, pretty impressive. Half a year without turning it off. Six months, you know, without without restarting or turning it off. That's impressive. Be careful. We think you're going to start losing some tire grip around now. Exactly. 145 likes. Thanks very, very much, everyone. Right then, boys and girls, we're coming in. Oh, that's a bit sketchy. <laughs> that was close. And your 45 likes. Thanks, everyone. If you are enjoying, please do uh, consider hitting the like button. Thank you. Go, go, go. 2.1. Go on, boys. Superb. Up to speed now. Let's get some heat into those tyres. So I think for this one, annoyingly, I just don't... I don't feel like I was driving badly. I feel like I was hitting the breaker points um, at apexes. I feel like we're driving pretty well. But I just think the car overall just doesn't have the pace. Is that fair to say? Is that a fair assumption? Tell me if it's not and if you think I've, you know, could have found some pace somewhere. Uh, to be fair, Julian, I think I'd say no. We'll say no to that because we're catching the car ahead, but we don't. 
with this thing, right, with my teams, we want this to, I want this personally to be like a long thing that we do on the stream. I want, you know, I want us to do it often. I want us to enjoy it. I don't want it to be over quickly. We've got damage from that. Brilliant. Nice move. A little bit too forceful. I think we're good. Our gap to the car in front is 8.8 .8 seconds. Very, very difficult to keep off and behind us, by the way. Might have had a safety car in any race yet, actually. No, I haven't. Good point. That'd be a monster effort to keep uh, off and behind us here. Thank you, John. Will you have a, have a good day at work, mate? Thank you for hitting the like button. Thanks very much. Now the safety car's definitely turned on. It's definitely turned on. But I don't think we've really had anything to warrant a safety car yet. We've had, we've had a virtual safety car. So I don't think we'd have a virtual safety car if safety cars were turned off. Think again if I if you think I'm gonna let you through there, lad. Think again. Oh Yeah Okay clear. Gasly He's out of the race, boys and girls. Will I be awake for all of the twenty four hour? Probably. Our team has has had some rotten luck in the night. So I kinda wanna stay awake. Just so that hopefully my luck by st you know staying awake will give the lads luck. Because we had you know what are we at? six hour we crashed out, four hour we crashed out, uh, tw the twenty four hour Le Mans again. As I went to bed, meatballs galore. We just need some luck on our side, really. got DRS, nothing I can do. Nothing I can do there. Oh, he's locked up. Oh. I've got DRS now. Here we go. Ha ha ha, yes. Get in there. Pissed. Okay, gap ahead is 10.0 seconds. Finally got past me, and I'll do that. Ain't making it around the outside there, lad. I'll save some of my ERS. It's constantly defending here.
Thank you, Perry. Thank you, Ashley. Oh, you look. My damage from that. What's that bloody checkered flag? laps of fuel remaining. Hey, hi, hey, hey. Ocon races like the Ocon of GT Sport. I like it. Oh. <laughs> that was scary. I think Ocon had a moment there as well. He lost a load of time to me. That doesn't take him long to catch up, does it? I've completely and utterly ruined this guy's race. There's no doubt about it. Are you getting this late from today, Broken Wings? You'll enjoy it. Oh, he's fine. He's gone. He's gone. Green flag. He's gone. Oh, that. that. That's good. He went He went for a move there, which is never going to happen. He went for a move up the inside of turn one. Thank you, Gary. Wise words. I think I was fair. Let me know if you... If you think otherwise, chat, be honest. Gap to car in front I think I was fair there. I don't think I did anything too wrong, did I? Felt like he just went for a move on the inside there. That was never going to work. Let's see how after the race. Yeah, we'll have a look, shall we? We're leading our teammate by 13.1 seconds. Looks like we've got P13 in the bag here, as long as I don't cock it up. Which is a good result, considering what do we qualify, 17? There's three laps of fuel remaining. The thick wang did the trick, that's it. <laughs> oh hell, the thick wang. And you know what race is after this one, chat? Any guesses? It may, I may have gone to it. Or I may have gone to it this weekend. That's a hint. That's right, Wolfie. Final lap. Final 
you know what? We still haven't gone through a race without using a flashback yet. I really, really, really want to go through a race without using a flashback. And I think I've only used one, one in this race. And that was just some front wing damage. So, I think we're, I think we're getting there. Plan to go to Miami Grand Prix next with Wolfie. Nice. Me and Chloe would love to do one. Uh, love to do one abroad. Uh, we've done Spain. Love to do Austria. You know, awesome track, and it's always really hot there. Gap to the car ahead is twelve point nine seconds. There we go. Not too shabby, that. P13, we'll take it. All right, race over. Take care of the car on the way in. Roger that, Jeff. Wang gets driver of the day once more. Don't That's know how. For another spectacular Grand Prix here in Austria. Wang does and it again. Drive. GG, yeah, cheers, on. chat. And take the win. We've done a race already. It's only five to nine. It's very. And talk to me. What do you think it was that sealed the win for them? Well, they certainly stood out as a Jamie, I've always dreamed of going to Le Mans 24 hours. I've never dreamed of it. To keep their cool, even um, but I would love to go, Jamie. I'd love to go. That's a pretty cool dream to have. Drivers, the uh, Scott, to make their, um, to their AI speed. level are, is 95. AI level is 95. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the That could be a command actually in Nightbot, a couldn't it? Team victory today. If, so, if we put like exclamation cars. mark AI then to Mercedes, and then we could we could potentially today. have that. Driver of the day three times in a row. Good spot. Yeah. Three in a row. Wait. Did Danny Danny Rick didn't win that, did he? What did he got he got P3? So then, it's time to see how I got this P2. affects the drivers' Mad. championship. It wasn't the best weekend for our championship leader, and their advantage at the top has been reduced. Some amazing talent out on the track today, but as the replay as we always do, as your driver of the day, I have to give it to Wang. There was a lot going on all down the field. Anthony field, Davidson the loves me. Really he loves me, chat. Potential. He it's loves the Wang. He loves it. In the constructors' championship, he absolutely Mercedes bloody loves it. Right, surely we can go to the point where... Oh. Surely it will show it. Uh, Addy, I've been to the 20... Been to the Dubai 24-hour GT3 race. The race was inside. That sounds awesome. It'll be even more awesome, I think, once they sort this... When they sort the track out, which is what they're doing. Uh, it'll be even better, wouldn't it? Right, so... Oh, look at this, by the way. So, do you think this was over the top? Hmm. I think, I, I think I've made that corner. What do you think, chat? I, I think I'm here in the middle of the... I think I'm there on the apex. I think I'm okay with that. I don't think I'm... I'm not too worried about it. Is he going to show it? Oh, it's not showing it. Oh, chat, I'd love, to, I'd love to show you it, but it's not going to show me it. I can go to the full replay. But I don't think I can... Can I skip laps? How do I skip laps? Ah, here we go. Thank you. There we go. Uh, it was lap... Oh, okay. I think it was this one. Here we go. I mean, that's pretty clear to me. What do we think? Here he comes. I mean... That's... You, you can't be any later than that, I don't think. I don't think there's much more I could have done there. He's just... There's no way I could have reacted to that. There's no way I could have reacted to that.
I, I, I just, there's, I don't think there was a way I could react to that at all. It took ages to get going again. It took a bloody ages to get going again. Stuck there for ages. I think, I think we're, I think we're clear. Yeah, I think we're clear. I think he sent it. Amazing performance out there. Thank you, love. I'm sure you're pretty happy with that. Yeah, not too bad, not too shabby. You gained a lot of positions during the race, didn't you? Hell yeah. Uh, uh, it was great the car was sticking to the track. Your team must be ecstatic with how you're performing. They bloody should do. I'm bloody playing their wages. How do you feel the competition is for you this season? Okay, cool. You had a close battle today, didn't you? Seems all right. Great. Well, that's everything. I th I'd say, Perry, I'd say the difference between that one and the Hamilton one is if Ockham was alongside me the whole time, he literally, as I was turning into the corner, he just suddenly appeared there. You know what I mean? Whereas the one at Silverstone, Hamilton was alongside him the whole straight. Well, not whole straight, but the majority of it at the end. So... I mean, I've, I can see, I can see the similarities, but yeah, I think we're okay on that one. And we've got a bonus as well. I'm take five tra uh, drivers. We've got twelve. I don't know how we've done that? Hi, Tim. Weekly resources. Yeah, looking good, looking tasty here. But let's fill these in. Auto fill. Yeah. So we would have got some more points there. We've got fourteen hundred there. Uh, how? What's the money we've got as well? We must have some 2.42. Um, shall we? Max have upgrade development simultaneously. I don't think we need to build time. Resource points generation. Uh, resource points generation will be increased by 75. Hmm. What's your recommendations here, chat? Yeah, Addy, that's the one I've watched as well. That's the one I've watched as well. So, I feel like we can... What do you think? Chassis is all done by one. So, we can have a look at that. I think aerodynamics or powertrain is probably the one we want to go for. But what's the best? I don't think... Resource point generator, maybe? It's hard to pick, isn't it? It's really hard to pick. Oh. Hello, Ornica. How are we doing? I hope I've uh, said your name right there. I think I'm going to go... Go with aerodynamics. Um, max of upgrades, build time. Build time's not. Let's do resource, shall we? I think resource. I haven't looked at marketing. Uh, about effects. They will be improved faster. I haven't looked at the powertrain in a while, to be fair. We'll have a look at that. I think the resource points one is the most important, isn't it? I guess. You know? Get as many points as we can. Uh, so let's go to the R&D tab then. Um, again, powertrain's looking good, I think. So powertrain's our strongest thing. Durability is on 10. Morale for aerodynamics high, which means it's cheaper. Better chance is reduced by 1%. Build time is reduced by 2%. I really think that makes much difference. That one's in development already, so I assume I can't do anything else, maybe? This will make a big difference. Streamlined suspension arms, 1100 for front downforce. Oh, it's drag reduction. So that'll make us quicker in a straight line anyways, where we don't need it. Ooh, upgrades unlocked. Oh, that makes a big difference, doesn't it? Look at the difference there. The second driver provide more points. They do, they do, they do. They do provide more points. No doubt about that. Oh, that failed, so we'll get that done. We get that done. So we still got twelve hundred. Okay, so let's go. Ooh. What do we? F so that one does weight redistribution. That does weight reduction. Uh, this this one does more. So this you can see the bar. So if you have a look at the bar at the bottom, chat, it might be a little bit small, but you can see 
that one does a little bit more, like a couple percent extra. So I think that one's the best one to do. So let's do that. Look at the difference that does. Holy moly. Look at the difference that does to the car. So it will be ready for the Hungarian Grand Prix. We're, no wonder we're struggling in that last race, you know. We're really struggling. We're struggling to keep up with everyone else. Oh, there we go. That was... Oh, so that's for the parts. That's what we're like compared to the others. Ah. Okay. So we're still just better than Haas. Haas and Williams. Okay. Not too bad. Take it. I'm gonna... Don't mind chat. I'm going to quickly get myself a drink whilst this is going on. I'll be back in a second. I'm going to quickly get myself a drink. Two ticks. Go to this event then, shall we? Could you take a look at this for us, please? A social media team would like budget approved for a proposed new online video series that focuses on Islot's day-to-day routine throughout the season. It might be a little costly, but we think this has the potential to significantly bolster the public image. What do you think? Ah, uh, for fifty grand, yeah. I mean, what's 50 grand, really, to an F1 team? Thanks. Yeah. I appreciate you taking There's no reason why I'd decline that. <laughs> right. Oh. You don't have enough cash to afford your teammates' contract renewal. Well, that's concerning. I know we were expecting some new developments to come through, but some of them have failed quality control. Again?! We'll need to tell the team what to redevelop via the R&D screen. I thought, I thought we did that already. I thought we already did that one. I thought it already failed and we're just doing it again. Son of a gun. What, what was it that failed then? Oh. What was it that failed? What's it? I don't see it. Ah, oh, heavy dampers. That was for... Ah... Oh, I can't do it. I haven't got enough resource points. Right. So we're going to have to do one practice program. Go back to the main menu. Are we allowed to do that? Are we allowed to go back to the main menu? I, sh I hope so. So we can do some iron. Or we're going to have to wait for the race weekend to finish. Oh, I hope we don't have to. Because that's going to suck. That we're going to be that short by that much. That's going to absolutely suck. I'm going to put the other engine parts in. But there's a chance, there's a chance that the engine might blow up on us. You know how to complete all the practice, thank you. You love to hear it. I'd like to get that part sorted. Oh. Do it from the race weekend menu, thank you. Bring it as well, Mick. You do it in the pits back to R&D. Oh, awesome. That makes things easier. Smashing, uh... Smashing Giovinazzi, yeah? Oh, wow. Race is in the dry. Qualifying and practice is in the rain. Okay. really done with a few parts for this. Well, this would be good practice. Starting to learn the buttons now. Andy. Hello, Luciano. Oh, she wet, Wolfie. Oh, she is wet, yeah. 
Wet track. We're going to be logging some extra data during this session. Nothing you need to worry about, but as we have some new parts, we'll just confirm they're performing to spec. Take it easy to start with. The track's wet. Okay. This looks all too familiar, chat. This is crazy. If you want to know where I was, there's a bit. It's not here, but there's a building to the right of this screen here. There's a building to the right, and that's where I was for the whole weekend. So, let's say a building. It's a like a outside area. The roof. Oh, same here, Perry. Don't worry about it. Mine's pretty much the same as that as well. Alex, you was in the paddock. You had paddock tickets, Alex. That's well, I, I had them as well, so that's pretty immense if you did, lad. Cops. I don't think anything's happened through there recently. Oh, I am interning with Hass. That's really cool, Alex. That is cool. But what does that entail, dude? What have you been doing with that? You're allowed to say. Hello, DMO. All good, thanks, mate. I hope you're well. Thanks for joining. Did we go on the Ferris wheel? No. I did not. Didn't really. I didn't. I only. I only went to the fan zone a couple of times. I didn't really. Uh, venture. Oh, God, this is difficult. I didn't really venture out of um, Paddock Club. There's so many um, things you could do there. You didn't. I didn't really venture out of it, to be honest. So I've heard a rumour, by the way. I saw someone tweet about it. I think it was... Um, is it Tom97? Uh, he tweeted that the AI are very, very strong through cops for some reason. Oh, you're part of the marketing team that means sponsor, keeping sponsors happy over the weekend with social media. Oh, that's really awesome. That's really awesome. Well, hopefully next season you guys will have... Um, more stuff to report enough. about, shall we say? Try again. You know, we'll have to, you'll have some better news to report for your for your team. Struggling here like crazy. The rain's easing off a bit, but the track is still going to be wet for a while. Yeah, that's pretty mega stuff. Hopefully, Alex, if you if you enjoy it, which I'm sure you do, hopefully you have a, a long, successful career in it. I'm sure you will. But I wish you the best of luck with it. That's pretty um, damn awesome. 
So I assume, I hope you, I hope you get to travel. I hope you get to travel with Hass for all the races. That's wide. Great lap. You've nailed what we asked for. Keep it up. Better for that. a lot to report on the next season I, I, I imagine Alex when new car comes out if we could do we could do this one chat and then we can um, get that part development it won't be ready for this one but should be ready for the next one we should have two upgrades for Hungary then Poss potentially three as the chassis works that chassis upgrade works. I think it's a major one. So it should look good. Thank you, Kay. I'm glad you enjoy him. I really enjoy doing it right now. Very much so. I have, a, um, I have some cool news, though, uh, regarding that. I haven't actually mentioned it yet. Um, but I am getting a new wheel. Um, so I've spoken to Fanatec. And they are... Uh, send me a new wheel, um, which is pretty cool. Just getting the new uh, Formula 2.5 wheel. That looks pretty cool. Uh, that should be coming with a, a DD wheel uh, base as well, which is pretty awesome. And we've got some V3 okay, pedals in the way as well. So far, we're getting great data. Stay focused. Lucky man when it comes to stuff like that. Very lucky indeed. Uh, be a CSL DD. Came here from Super GT. Hello, Don. Welcome along. Hello, Smudger as well. You, <laughs> this makes you want to buy the game real bad, but you can't at the moment. Well, hopefully you can soon, dude. You should pre-order or wait on the Fanatec stuff. Um, dep um, depends, TC. What do you want it for? If you're just using PC, then pre-order that DD, I'm telling you. Because you're going to be on a long, long waiting list if you wait much longer. I think even if you pre-order one now, you won't get it till November. That's how hard they are to get a hold of at the moment. Uh, they're not going to be an inverted V3, uh, V3s, Gary. I think they're just going to be the normal V3s, not inverted. So, um, yeah, uh, I would say TC. Um, if you're playing on PC, pre-order it now. If you're playing, if you play on PlayStation only, I would, I would wait. Um, I'd wait until the PlayStation version comes out, which there will be one. There will be one. They've confirmed there will be one. So, I'd wait for that. Hello, Hendrix. Okay, smash that, which is good. Good to get a little um... intermediate tyres are your best bet in the current conditions. Oh, intermediates now you say? Oh la la, intermediates. Go, oh, do this one then. Actually, we haven't earned the resource points yet, so we can't do it. Yet. I tried to play, but I suck because I play on PC. Ah, oh, no, just takes uh, practice, Dom. 
I, uh, yourself, I won't wait for the PlayStation version. Or someone else in chat won't wait for the PlayStation version. It's all dependent, really. I think if you if you play if you play on PlayStation, you have to wait. We're testing fuel management here, so try to lift and coast going into the corners. Don't be too aggressive on the power, but remember, you still have to beat the minimum lap time. Play on both. Mm, difficult for you then, I think. I play on both as well. I'd, I'd, I'd still wait. If you play on both, if you basically play on PlayStation, um, if you get it early, once the PlayStation One is released, you'll kind of regret it, I think, because you'll you'll want to be able to use it on PlayStation. You won't be able to. Is a get off, get off the accelerator We're way above the wap, uh, wap, <laughs> the lap time, but still not making it on fuel. You're doing well out there. Keep it up. We're looking at about ten more minutes of rain. Ten minutes. Yeah. So if you get the DD and get the PlayStation version. Um, it will, it will more than likely work on PC as well. Whereas you just get the PC version that's available right now, it won't work on PlayStation later on. I don't think it's a fanatic thing, I think it's a licensing thing rather than anything else. Okay, test complete. No, I, don't, I don't think it's something... If they could do it, I think that's they would. Good job indeed. But it's probably a, a licensing thing. I don't know. That. I don't know, to be honest. Okay, this should be nice and easy, shouldn't it? Stick to the first. No point using a set of intermediates because we need them for the race. Yeah, I'd, I'd certainly wait 100%. Waiting game, PS5, GT7 and DD, yeah. Quite a list, dude. Oh, quality, yeah, of course. Just quality, sorry, Wolfie, you're right. The race is dry, isn't it? I keep thinking the race is going to be wet, but it's not. Just quality. Oh. Well, that's awkward. Guess we're not getting purple in this one, then, lads. I wonder if we'll see some um, retirements in this race, chat, because I wonder if people are going to swap their engines out, because, you know, mine's at, like, this practice one's at, like, 80% or whatever now, or almost. So, I imagine some of the AI are going to be running on high engine wear. That's probably going to affect them a lot. Is 
exactly perfect. Good work. You seem to have a solid. Well, well that that'll be fun. And on the lap, let's try and perfect each turn. Remember that chaining good corners together will give you a consistency bonus. Oh, Doctor, that's pretty bad. That's 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 pretty bad. I'm oh, sorry, am I? I miss your question, dude. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's too late now. I don't know. <laughs> Fortunately, unfortunately, picked up one of the last CSL elites. Didn't know about the CSL DD. Good that I bought. Uh, waiting would have sucked. Honestly, Addy, so many people just don't have the option at the moment. Um, for that, if we go to practice two now, we then have the option. We should have and a resource point. I hope. Now over the line, Hopefully, it gives us the recess points. Yeah, so you would have hated waiting, hated it. And I bet you could sell your um, CSL Elite wheelbase on eBay or whatever for a pretty penny at the moment, because because they, they don't do them anymore. They're just going to be doing DDs instead. Uh, I bet they are. Oh no, my, my points aren't going up, chat. My, I'm not getting the points straight away, so I'm not going to be able to do it. Ah, oh, sucks. Ah, oh, it's rubbish. Well, I want to go in, um... Ah. That kind of sucks. Hundred ninety seven likes, three more, and the duck out comes ducky. Yes, please. <laughs> three more likes, 200. That'd be really appreciated. Thank you. Is it much from the premium? I can't comment too much, Doctor. Um, because I've never used a DD. Gotta be honest. But everyone who uses a DD always says that. Uh, what time does the Spa 24 hours start? Uh, 12 p.m. GMT, or... Or if you're in the UK, 1 p.m. But Addy says, I'm in Dubai, can sell it for one, well, 1 1.5 times this fantasy doesn't ship here. There you go, exactly. Looks like quality is full wet now. Thank you, Amy. Um, that will be a knee arm, sorry. Uh, that should be working in our favour, I hope. I hope it works in our favour. I hope it works in our favour, because... I reckon that, because I've seen some videos where the AI are insanely strong here, to say the least. I'm just going to uh, retire from the session. Let's see if it'll take me out and put it in the main menu. Maybe we'll the have session has drawn to a close, so let Good day today. Let's have your take on it. How did it feel to be racing on home turf? Fantastic. The track has the best fans. Are you hoping things clear up before qualifying? Uh... It'll make for an easier race, but unpredictable wet races are more fun. A lot of plans for... Do you think your teammate was enjoying themselves in front of their home crowd? Yes. How do you feel about this team's performance this season? Oh. Appreciate your time. No worries. 212 likes. Thanks, everyone. Uh, do a review on the Formula 2.5 for us when you get it. I might do. I'm not really a review kind of guy. I've done one review for the CSL Elite uh, with this wheel, actually. Uh, and it did well. I think it's got over like 10,000 views now, uh, which is pretty cool. So that's that's pretty cool, I think. A tire wear heat dampers build. But it's not going to give me, I don't think, the option to do that. Part failed, in development, in development. So we've got three parts ready to ready to go. Uh, we need to change our engine stuff before we go. Uh, I do remember that. Gee, that would have been bad if we did. Well, electronics is wearing quite cool, isn't it? A little bit of a concern. Right, let's go to quality then, shall we? Oh, you want to see that? You want to see the duck chat? I'll give you the duck. If you want to see the duck, we can give you the duck. I'm gonna have to minimise this. But where's the ducky? I haven't seen ducky in a long time. Where is ducky? Ducky's hiding. Where are you, ducky? Oh. Oh, got him. There he is. Here he is. Oh, no, he's hiding. Hang on. He's hid behind the scenes. Let me put him there. Hang on. There he is. I haven't seen him for a while. 
He's just quietly dancing along in the background, as he always does. Uh, yeah. I would have him there all the time, but it's, it's way too distracting. Way too distracting. If you're joining the stream for the first time, you see that, like, what the hell is that? Like, what the hell is that? Always shaking his booty, though. Always shaking his booty. He loves it. But we'll hide him there. Uh, let's go back to it. Oh, actually, before I do, I need to get the chat back up. Da -da -da -da. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Car setup wise, I'm not really going to touch it. Q1, Q2, and Q3 are all the same. But let's go out there and do some laps, shall we? What's his name? We're just Ducky, to be honest, Jamie. I haven't really got a name for him. Uh, let's drive out on this one. Everyone ready? Okay, let's go. Should have enough fuel for two laps, I think. Two laps on this one. Don't know what the AI's pace is going to be like. And I don't know what my pace is going to be like either here. Hoping for a bit more development in the car at the moment. We've got some major upgrades coming. I think that major upgrade to the chassis will make a big difference. Once again, chat, at the end of this stream, I like your feedback if that's okay. I want to make these streams as enjoyable and as fun and as engaging. And, you know, I want you guys to be able to sit through the whole of this stream and say, yeah, I really enjoyed that. So, at the end of the stream, I like your, your feedback on whether you like the idea of two 50% races or you like the idea of 100% again. So, we'll wait until the end and we've sat through both races and we've done them both. And you, you can tell me what you think. Again, update on um, AI as well, if you're happy for it to be at 95. I'm quite content at 95 at the moment. Thank you, Crabster. Welcome along. I'm quite content with 95 AI at the moment. I think it's, I think it's a respectable difficulty as well. Cheers, Scott. Oh, I literally, I don't, I've literally got a drop on my screen, and I could not see the apex then. That was so annoying. Definitely have to go again. Terrible first sector. Miss the apex of the corner, and then way too much over to there. They are intermediate, so we should just be able to go again and again and again. Be the more the fuel that lets us down rather than anything else. Welcome back, Hurtle. 95 until you crack the top five. Yeah, and then we can improve it again. As Bottas will 134. It will be anywhere near that. Oh uh, yeah, crap, so I definitely recommend 50. I think 25 is way too short. You'll fly through the season. Yeah, 38 flat, wow.
That's half a second basically there already. We've only got two laps of fuel left. Renault's Alpine's behind me. That's wide Ollie, that's naughty. Yeah, fair. We've got enough fuel to do another lap, I'll go again. And I do. Lovely. Go again then, shall we? Nice, thank you, Max. Pushing it a little bit more on this one. Giovinazzi's just ahead. Push for the position. They've just entered the pits. Their best lap time is a 1.36.9. 1.36.9, I have no idea what lap time I did. Definitely would have been like a, but like a mid-37. Oh, David, that sucks. He flies the leg, mate. But don't worry, we've still got another 50% race after quality. So, that should feel your entertainment. Woo! Lost a lot of time there. Four attempts off Giovanni as we go through there. Silly Ollie. Improvement, but not by much. Hmm, 37 1. Hmm, so we are. We're two temps off Giovinazzi, aren't we? We are two temps off Giovinazzi currently. Who is our rival? And that's the kind of that's the guy we always should look at to beat. Where are we losing a lot of time here? I lost a lot of time. To be fair, I did lose a lot of time in the middle sector. So Giovinazzi, one temp quicker there. Three temps quicker there. I was one temp quicker there. So first and second sector is our weak points. Third sector, we seem pretty good. That'll give us enough time for three more laps as well. So let's go. Ooh. Oh, oh, to be fair, I think we're okay. Reserve for the race. Oh, I don't know what... what mm. I think we've got to go out on the same tyres again. I think we've got, because I don't think... If we go through, we're not going to have any fresh inters. So I think we've got to go out on the same tyres again. To be fair, I don't think it makes too much of a difference. I said it only makes a tenth of a difference over a lap. there. Got to cut that out. Come on, here we go. I just let go of the throttle on that one. I'm going to have to Fully break. Uh, 
Oh, laps in the bin already. Laps in the bin already. Ah! God damn it. We have two laps of fuel remaining. We've got enough for two more runs after this, so we should be okay. Better. Okay. Big improvement through there. Big improvement. Come on, lads. Stop doing it. Here we go once more. Come on. That was quick. Oh, please don't get in my way. Jesus fucking Christ. Nice exit. Here's Jamie. I feel like I could do a lot better though. I'm going to need to do better as well. Oh, oh it's tenth and a half up and thrown it away. Two minutes left in this session, and we're in the okay. drop zone. We need a quick lap. Two temps up. Oh. Gorgeous. Come on. There we go. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Go, 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 go. Come on. Ah! Could have gained a lot more time there. That enough? 16th? That's 16th. Qualifying's complete. Is that enough to get through? I kind of don't want to get to the end because I know what the game's like. It will just... I return to the garage.
Okay. Gonna return to the garage, but I, I get the feeling I'm gonna get done over here. Here we go. I knew it. I knew it. You know what? I knew it. I called it. I apps that is some utter, utter BS, you know. I bloody called it, didn't I? Oh. God damn it. God bloody damn it. I knew, I just knew that would happen, you know? I already went to 17th, did I, David? Thanks, Cyrus. I already went to 17th, I didn't see that. I thought I made it through. Oh, fair play. Then my argument is uh, invalid. My argument's invalid. I thought I made it. Okay. Ah, oh, nice, Phil. Nice, nice. I hope you enjoyed it. Okay. Well, that's just me buggering out then. Apologies, chat. That's just me messing it up. Alright, time for the race then. Alright, Crofty, what you got for us? Welcome along then to Great Britain and the Great Silverstone Circuit for today's yes. Grand With good opportunities uh, to I believe so, the Trail. I believe I've got loads of bonuses. Straights, there's a lot of potential for close action around the 3.6 miles of the Silverstone Circuit. With 18 corners and average lap speeds of around 145 miles per hour, it's also one of the longest and quickest circuits on the calendar. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box. And it's fantastic to have you with us here today. But I'm curious. As a man true, with experience David, out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? But from the moment qualifying's over, you start to feel the adrenaline in your body build up and the buzz in your stomach as you anticipate the rundown into turn one. It's all a bit like going into battle, and the unknown situation makes you nervous. Pre-race nerves are a good thing. The day you don't have them means that you don't care anymore. And of course, you have to make sure that all the procedures are second nature to you, so that they're not taking up too much of your capacity. Before we begin, let's, right, let's have a look at the grid then, shall we? The grid lineup for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, they just have dominating the season. Norris, Verstappen, Max and Ford, Daniel Ricciardo, and Leclerc, Sainz, Fernando Alonso. Ocon and Sebastian Vettel, Gasly, Sonoda. Wait for it, chat. You know what's coming. And Stroll and you know what's coming. Mick Schumacher, Wang, Sergio Wang. Perez. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid pass. Oh. And Antonio. So we're P16 Giovinazzi. now. Mazepin, Russell, Eilert, and Nicholas Latifi. And with lights out, just moments away, it's time to go down to the. As <laughs> soon track. as it comes out, just all Wangs and chat. I love it. Okay, I know it's your home Grand Prix, but treat it like any other race. Don't take unnecessary risks. Well, let's have a look at the feckin' strat, shall we? Soft and mediums. Works. I mean, it's just a one-stopper. 11 laps on the softs. That works, I'm happy with that. Yeah, let's do it. Right, are you ready for it, chat? Second and final race of the stream. Let's see where we end up. So hard to get a good start here. Look at Perez, Jesus! Oh, slam on the brakes then. I'm gonna restart that because that was a massive dive bomb. Apologies. <laughs> I'm gonna restart that again. That was a massive dive bomb. I want to go a whole race without a, a flashback. Come on. 
Really? Really? <laughs> For fuck's sake! Ah! You dickhead, Ollie! Go <laughs> on! Right, third time's a charm. Third time's a charm. Alright, I've got to remember that. Nice, there we go. Better. Puma Cat was absolutely sent on me there. Almost got me there. Yep, confirmed AI of extremely overpowered in that corner. Probably doesn't help that we've done no dry running. I don't want to hold up Paris too much. He's going to be so much stronger than us. Not bad stuff. Has this haven't been punted yet? <laughs> Not yet. Yeah, the AI are just stupidly overpowered there. Watch out for that. Paris casually goes around the outside of me. I don't hold him up too much. DRS activated this lap, so DRS let's try and use it. This lap. Hello, David. When within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS. Zone. Missed the first race. Uh, it was Austria. You may want to watch your back, though, so I won't say what the results were, but it's up to you, really. Oh, my car just has no chance against this. Jesus, Holly. Every chat will try to go through the corner. You plonker. Desperately trying to keep hold of Perez here. I don't think I've got a chance. Ah, oh, they're, they're. Ah, oh, they're broken as hell. God oh, damn it. That's so frustrating. If it wasn't for that corner, we'd have really good pace. Ah. Oh. Cheers, Mick. What was that?
a bit concerned in this one, chat, I've got to be honest. The pace difference through cops is a major issue. They're like half a second quicker through there. Look at that. Look at it. Have a look at this. Have a look at the speed difference here. Look. Have a look at the speed difference here. You can't take it flat. I can't take that flat. That, this car is not good enough to go flat through there. There's absolutely no chance I can go flat through there. Cannot take that flat. I'll try it again. And I'll try and take it better. But I can't go any quicker through that corner. I cannot do cop I cannot do I cannot go through their flat. Car is not good enough. Can't go flat. This runs wide. Can't hit can't hit the apex. the position try to keep focus I missed me apex because I couldn't hit it because I was trying to go flat the car is not gonna make it a bit like Hamilton yeah you turn this one flat easily. I'll try again. I braked. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's not possible. I'm, t I'm telling you right now, chat, that is not possible. That is just. I had to slow right down for that. Yeah, they should have taken the beating. Okay, oh. clear. Someone behind us is retired. I bet the Nova could do it flat. <laughs> right. Had to let go of the throttle there. Whoa! <laughs> My goodness me, Schumacher! Like a whole bottle <laughs> holding your way. <laughs> Very true. Try eighth gear. Okay, oh, that's wide. Yellow 
flag. Oh. All right. Or yellow flag up ahead as well, because that's just turned green. Someone else died, or is it still Nikita? That oh, would just be mad spin, wouldn't it? Nah. Right eighth. I've let go of the front wall there to make the corner. The apex was pretty special. I mean, pretty special. Pretty nailed on the head there as well. I think. Of Giovinazzi again. Maybe he doesn't do a Schumacher on me. That's so incredibly frustrating, you know. We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the mediums. Don't panic just yet, but uh, we've seen a problem at our end. We're looking into it. Oh! Chat, we might have our first mechanical DNF. Did you hear that? We can confirm that it's an issue with our engine. I'm not moving. Oh, oh, I was barely moving. Oh, I've lost, I've lost loads of power. Lost loads of power. I felt like I lost loads of power then. I just, I, I just, I was so slow coming through on that cop straight then. It's a fresh engine as well. It's a fresh one. Oh, I'm just understeering for days. I don't know what's wrong, but my car is just in the bin. It says it's the, the engine, but I can't turn it. I couldn't go flat through there.
starting to feel a little bit normal again. I don't know if it's tyre wear, but I could not make that. I could not make that corner. I've got no. I've got no top end. Oh, it's just flowing past me. Engines in the mud. Engines in the absolute mud shaft. If thing is, if I if I retire right now. Will it save the engine? No, it's on standard. A DR I had DRS open. He and I just got destroyed there. What is it then? Just dropping back here. If I retire, I'll save the engine. I can't go flat through there at all now. I don't want the engine to blow. Because I feel if we if it's just if it's going to blow up, we might as well just retire and save it, right? Yeah, it, it, I've got no performance. It's completely died. But I kind of want to see it blow up at the same time. It's, I will say it's pretty damn cool that we've got a mechanical failure. That's that's pretty damn cool. Hello, Vincent. How are we doing? Yeah, this, yeah, this race is gone. It's game over in this race. But I want to see if it blows up. So this is interesting. I'm gonna I'm just gonna I'm gonna make a note of this now. I I can't talk to my engineer. I can't my the button I use to talk to the engineer is not working. It won't let me talk to him. I can't talk to him. Every single button's not working. Only the only the DRS and ERS is working. Should have picked that lap anyways, but okay, I'm gonna pit and see what happens. That's how weird is it? It's completely take, taken away the option for me to talk to the engineer. I can't it doesn't do anything. Nothing happens. Yeah, cars just died. Weird, I can't talk to Jeff though. That's. But just having a look at the engine temps, they're fine. Bizarre. He made the pairs, I'm going to come in the pits anyways. Oh, sorry, Seb. We're going to retire it anyways because it's absolutely dead in the water. I'd rather it didn't blow though, Phil, because if we can use it again, if we can save it, it will save us a. Um, it will save us a, you know, a 10 second bridge off or whatever it would be. I'm not changing it. I'm going to retire it. I think that's probably. I think that's probably the best thing to do. Drives away anyways. But I definitely just... The car just went dead. Pit strategy complete. See these tyres through to the end now. Merck won that. 
And now let's take a look at the driver stand. Ugh. Despite the best efforts of our championship leader, that lead has taken a bit of a knock. I will today. say After though, an incredible day of racing. Who was your driver of the day, Ant? Well, you can't fault anything that Sergio Perez did out on the track today. He well, flawlessly, making him an easy pick. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. Mercedes continue to extend their oh, lead. Just, yeah. Meanwhile, good work from Aston Martin this weekend, who pushed themselves. Good day today. Let's have your take on it. Hmm. Who would you say is your biggest rival at the moment? Oh, Christ's sake. Uh, the, pff, none of these are all too quick. You had a lot of fans out there today. Does the pressure get to you? Right. Do you think this team are performing as well as they could do? Appreciate your time. So, Will says, Ollie, the failures work a percentage, so you'll have a percentage chance of failure every lap. Oh God. <laughs> now I've done that. Oh, it must be the pits. So, if, you, if you're just joining, or you're just wondering what the hell's going on, um, we literally just got a, a message from Jeff saying, you know, oh, I don't know, we might have an issue kind of thing. And then he went, yeah, we definitely got an issue. It's the engine. And then my pace just disappeared. Completely. It completely and utterly disappeared. And then I just dropped back. So quickly then. So quickly. That was a little bit scary how quickly we dropped back then. To be honest. We really dropped back. Um, R&D as well. Let's see if we can get that. What was it? The engine, wasn't it? Let's quickly see if we can get that. What was the engine part? What was that there? I thought it was an engine part that failed. What was it? That's in development. The aerodynamic part that failed. I swear it was an engine one. Hmm. Well, we got 1400, so let's get something else in development for the next stream as well. Oh, there it was. Part failed. Cool. Take eight days. Um, and then let's have a look at the aerodynamic. We got. So we need to work on the drag reduction tension on. Well, let's go to the next one and let's see. We should have enough as well for our contract as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go and fast forward this. As we continue to increase our acclaim, more potential partners become willing to work with us. So we got 2.52 million all again. Sponsor from the corporate tab. We get some uh, sponsors as well. Oh. We'll have look. Maybe we'll have a look at that for the next one. All right, cool. Well, we're going to end things there, chat. Which is pretty cool. We, we've, um... Sorry that I, think I couldn't give you the race that you wanted at the end there. Um, but unfortunately, the car died. Uh, there's nothing I could have done. Uh, there's absolutely nothing I could have done. So, we'll leave it there. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this. Two 50% races. Let me know what you think. Um, what's your feedback? Do you prefer what, one 100% race or two 50%? Uh, let me know. And uh, we'll take the feedback and we'll um, we'll go from there. Uh, just It's just a shame, really, that I, could, I couldn't give you that second race. Because AI was stupidly over OP in cops, I thought. And... Uh, yeah, the engine died in us, which is, kind of sucks. So, if you prefer 50% or 100, 250, 250. Okay. Okay, well, after, if you're watching this back, anyone, please let me know in the comments what you think as well. But we'll end it there. Um, thanks for joining me as always. Um, probably won't have anything tomorrow. So, we're going to leave, we're going to leave F1. We're going to have a little bit of a rest from it. Because what we're going to do now, um, probably won't have anything tomorrow. Uh, and then on Friday, I think I'll do GT Sport. I'll do some GT Sport on Friday. There's Ducky for you. Uh, and then on Saturday, we have a 24-hour race. So that's the whole of weekend sorted. Uh, and next weekend's, next week's daily races look a lot better. And we do have FIA stuff. So GT Sport stuff should be back uh, next week. But don't worry, we'll definitely find some time to do this. But I hope you enjoyed it. Please do leave a like on the way out. Maybe subscribe if you are enjoying it as well. And I'll, um, I'll catch you for the next one, chat. But uh, take care. Hello?